Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla rolls out $420 incentive for customers in Shanghai. Tesla Cybertruck charging outside Gigafactory Texas shows interesting front detail. Tesla Fremont factory appears to be getting a new tent. And Tesla Giga Shanghai rumored to have begun production switchover to Model 3 Highland. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla has started rolling out a special incentive for its customers in Shanghai. With the incentive in place, customers who are ordering and purchasing the company's domestically produced Model 3 and Model Y are given shopping vouchers worth 3,000 yuan, which is $420. The incentive is offered in conjunction with a local government incentive program that's designed to boost consumption. The $420 voucher is quite interesting as it's likely enough to purchase a fairly decent amount of items. Tesla China has also noted that it would be providing new car buyers with 3,500 yuan in cash, which is $487, as well as a free enhanced autopilot trial if they were referred by an existing Tesla owner, as noted in a Bloomberg News report. This incentive program remains active, the company noted, when it announced its $420 shopping voucher offer recently. China is the world's largest car market, and it is also the world's leader in electric vehicle sales. So far, retail sales of new energy vehicles for 2023 totaled about 647,000 in July, as per data from the China Passenger Car Association CPCA. Tesla China, for its part, delivered 93,680 vehicles from Giga Shanghai in June, which included 74,212 units that were sold in the domestic market. China's auto market is extremely competitive, and even Tesla, which is arguably the world's leader in pure electric cars, is outsold by Chinese automaker BYD in the country's new energy vehicle NEV sector. While this is largely due to BYD's new energy vehicle sales, including hybrids, its large gap with Tesla's pure battery electric car sales hints at the steep competition in the Chinese auto market. As a means to become more competitive, Tesla opted to roll out aggressive price cuts to its vehicles earlier this year. Tesla ended up starting what could only be described as a price war in China, which culminated about a month ago when the EV maker, together with several other local automakers, signed a pact that committed to avoid abnormal pricing practices. The pledge was retracted eventually, but authorities still encouraged fair competition among automakers nonetheless. Moving to the next update, Tesla Cybertruck charging outside Gigafactory Texas shows interesting front detail. A Tesla Cybertruck was spotted charging outside of Gigafactory Texas recently, and in the bed of the all-electric pickup was the front insert, giving clues to how much storage capacity might be available under the truck's hood. The Cybertruck sightings have been plentiful for the past few months, but what is going on now is slightly different as there are more details arising from this picture than ever before. Initially, it shows the Cybertruck charging at a solar panel canopied supercharging station at Gigafactory, Texas, where the truck will be initially produced for customers. The images, captured by Gigafactory, Texas drone operator Joe Tegmeyer, show the all-electric pickup fresh off of production lines, noted by the barcodes, that can be seen on various parts of the vehicle. There still appears to be plastic on the interior, including the seats, so this could have just rolled off of production lines less than a few hours ago. However, the front insert seems to be sitting in the bed of the Cybertruck, adding another interesting thing to this photo. A few weeks ago, as Tesla was wrapping a Cybertruck like a Ford F-150, we noted that the front area was one on the smaller side, and it appears the cutout in the bed of the Cybertruck in this photo basically confirms that. While we cannot determine specific dimensions, and Tesla has been relatively tight-lipped with Cybertruck details, more information will be brought to the forefront when the automaker releases the truck, along with pricing and configuration details. It appears that more units are rolling off the production lines, and based on the observations of those close to the factory, this is likely not the same unit that Tesla flexed as the first to be manufactured at Gigafactory, Texas. 
Moving to the next update, Tesla Fremont factory appears to be getting a new tent. Tesla's Fremont factory appears to be getting a new tent, according to a new permit filing the company submitted to the city. Submitted and filed recently, Tesla is seeking to gain approval to install a new tent that is valued at just $750,000, but it needs building, electrical, and mechanical permits. It also has 13 light figures and 12 commercial circuit breakers. Tesla has used tents at the Fremont factory to add production space. More correctly referred to as a sprung structure, Tesla started using the tents back in 2018, as the Model 3 ramp started. By 2021, Tesla had filed to make tents permanent at the factory. General Assembly 4 and 4.5 were used to build the Model 3 and Model Y, with none of the production occurring inside the factory itself. Instead, manufacturing took place in these sprung structures. It also installed a tent last year, but it was only for storage. Tesla's Fremont factory has been space confined for some time, and as noted by Morgan Stanley in a letter to investors last year, the plant was never designed to produce 450,000 units, at its peak produced around 300,000 units, before Tesla took it over from Toyota. Tesla was still able to work with the limited space it had. However, as production upgrades have taken place this quarter, as hinted by Musk and company, during the recent earnings call, things are picking back up, and perhaps the tent is another attempt to add space. There is no information in the filing on how large the tent is in terms of square footage. Tesla also did not detail how the tent will be used in the filing. Moving to the last update, Tesla Giga Shanghai rumored to have begun production switchover to Model 3 Highland. Tesla Giga Shanghai is starting to switch production to the Model 3 Highland, according to rumors. The factory will move into full production of the new Model 3 in about two weeks. Tesla customers are looking forward to the start of production of the updated Model 3, codenamed Highland. While the company has not made any official announcements, rumors have hinted that production will start at Giga Shanghai in Q3 2023. More specifically, it was reported that the first deliveries could begin as early as September. Now we have another grain of information showing the progress of work in this direction. Chris Zhang revealed in a post on Twitter that Giga Shanghai has begun to roll out major changes. He wrote that the factory began production of the Model 3 Highland as early as this week. However, Zhang added an interesting detail. According to him, the production of the new version will alternate with the production of the old version, two days for the new version, and two days for the old one. At the moment, it is difficult to imagine how Tesla embodies this. After about two weeks, production at Giga Shanghai will switch entirely to the Model 3 Highland. At the moment, the order configurator for various European countries shows that if you order now, Model 3 will not arrive before October. This car model is shipped to Europe from the company's Chinese factory. This interesting detail hints at the fact that some production changes are really taking place at Giga Shanghai that the factory will produce both the new and old versions of Model 3 in the next two weeks could make a lot of sense. There is a possibility that the price will change for the new Model 3. However, the company still has to fulfill some orders. As soon as the required number of vehicles for this is produced, presumably Giga Shanghai will switch to the production of Model 3 Highland. Perhaps after that, Tesla will make an official announcement and will be able to immediately begin deliveries of the new cars, some of which will already be produced by then. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.